Hello and welcome to another Member Mouse 101 training video. My name is Eric Turnison, and today we're going to talk about how you bill your customers and grant access to content in your membership area based on what they've purchased. The first thing we're going to talk about is products. Products in Member Mouse defines what your customers pay you. For example, you can have payment plan products, you can have monthly build products, you can have one-time purchase products, you can have trial products, etc. So this defines what the customer is going to pay you, but then the question is what happens when they buy that product from you? Well, that comes down to associated access. In Member Mouse, you can associate products with access rights so that when a customer purchases that product, they will get access to a particular set of content. And in Member Mouse, there are two types of access rights. There are membership levels and there are bundles. So let's go through each one of these. Every member on your membership site will have to have a membership level. And each member only has one membership level at a time. So if they're on a starter membership and then they go to purchase advanced subscription, Member Mouse knows to first cancel the subscription associated with the starter membership prior to moving them over to the advanced membership. So you can see here that we have multiple products associated with single membership levels. This is a very powerful feature because what it allows you to do is charge different prices for the same access rights. So in this case, customers can either purchase the advanced subscription product or the advanced subscription discounted product in order to get the advanced membership. This allows you to split test pricing and also allows you to remain very flexible because you can set your pricing today and if you need to change it in the future, you're not going to have to change, uh, create new membership levels or change access rights or anything. You just create a new product with a new price associated with the membership level and now you can move forward with that new pricing. In a lot of cases, membership levels will be all you need to run your membership site. But in some cases, there are customers who have more complex content protection requirements. For example, instead of having a collection of content that customers get access to when they sign up for a membership level, say that you have individual packages of content. Maybe you sell multiple eBooks that talk about different subjects. Maybe you have a collection of video training courses and people would start off with the 101 course. And then once they finish that, they can buy the 102 course, the 201 course, etc. In any event, in both cases, you have different groupings of content that you want the customer to be able to purchase on demand at different times and in any order. To accomplish this with membership levels would be very challenging. The reason being is because you'd have to have a membership level that protects all the different types of combinations of content that you can have at any given point in time. So in the best case scenario, trying to accomplish this level of content protection flexibility with membership levels would result in having a mountain of membership levels to maintain. This is where bundles come in. Bundles are an extremely flexible content protection tool. Whereas with membership levels, you can only have one membership level per account. With bundles, you can have unlimited bundles per account. And bundles are associated with products in the same way as membership levels. You can have one or more products associated with a bundle, so you can have the same benefit of split testing and having flexibility of pricing for the future as you do with membership levels. So now the question becomes, why would you choose to use bundles over membership levels when protecting content and vice versa? There are a number of factors that contribute to this decision, but there are some simple rules of thumb that you can follow. The main benefit of membership levels is that there can only be one per account. And since there can be only one, when a member changes their membership level, this indicates to Member Mouse that it's an upgrade or a downgrade event, in which case it knows to cancel any previous subscription before starting a new subscription, and it can also prorate the price of the new subscription. So if your business model includes a periodic subscription of some kind at different levels, like a bronze, silver, gold situation, then you would most likely use membership levels to implement this so that you could get the benefit of the automated upgrade downgrade functionality and optional proration functionality. In contrast, if you're selling content in a piecemeal fashion as upsells and you want this content when purchased to be added to the customer's account in addition to whatever other content they have, then you would use bundles in this situation because each member can have an unlimited number of bundles on their account and purchase them in any order and any combination. So now let's look at a brief overview of content protection. There are a number of ways you can protect content in Member Mouse. One of the ways is using the drip content schedule. 
The drip content schedule is nice because it gives you an overview of all the content that's being protected for each different access rate. So for example, we can select the starter membership and the advanced membership and click view schedule. And this shows us what content these two membership levels get access to and when. And now if I wanna add in the bundle to see what the bundle get access to, I can just click that and now I see, okay, the bundle gets access to this piece of content on day zero. So now that we've gone over the tools that MemberMouse offers to be able to bill your customers and grant access to content based on what's purchased, let's go ahead and walk through an example. Let's say I wanna create a new membership level, a growth membership, and I wanna bill people $15 a month for this membership level. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a product. I'm gonna call this growth subscription. And the price for this is $15. There's no trial on this. The subscription is going to be every month, and that's it. Uh, so I'm just gonna scroll down here and save that product. So now we have a growth subscription of $15 every month. Now I'm gonna to go to membership levels. I will create a new membership level, call this growth membership. And down here under membership type, I'm gonna select paid. And now once I select paid, I select the product or products that I want the customer to be able to buy in order to get this membership. So I'm gonna select the product that I just created. And now I can indicate whether I want a welcome email to be sent out to the member. I'll uncheck that for now and save this membership. And that's it, we're done. Now, whenever a customer purchases this product, they're going to get access to this membership level. But at this point, this membership level doesn't give them access to anything. So what we wanna do is now take this membership level and use it to protect content and indicate what content members with this membership level should get access to. So I'll go over to my drip content schedule. And one really cool time-saving thing Member Mouse does is that it allows you to use a content protection schedule for an existing membership and copy that to a new membership. So what I'm gonna do is use the starter membership as a starting point and say I wanna copy that to growth because the growth membership is gonna get access to everything that the starter membership has access to. So I'll just go ahead and copy that schedule, okay? So now if I select the growth membership uh, and click view schedule, I see that it gets access to the starter content at the same times as the starter membership. But now I wanna add access to another piece of content. So what I can do is I can click this plus sign here and I want them to get access to a particular page. So I'm gonna say, okay, I wanna give them access to this growth content on day zero. Now on the days, Day zero is actually their first day of their membership. Their second day of their membership is day one. The third day of their membership is would be a two here. So I'll click grant access. And now we see on day zero, the growth membership gets access to growth content. Now I wanna grant access to another piece of content, but I'm gonna show you another way you can do it. I'm gonna to go to pages. I'm gonna find my growth content day three here. And now you'll see in the upper right hand corner here in the member mouse options box, I can click grant access. And here I can select whether I want to grant access to this content by membership level or bundle. So I'll select membership level and I'll select growth membership. And this is gonna be on day two. So I'll grant access. So now I see that the growth membership will get access to this content on day two. And I'll go ahead and update that. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna go over to my sample site. I'm gonna to go to the members only area and attempt to view some growth content. And you'll notice I'm taken to an error page. And this is because we just protected that page and I'm not currently logged in. So I'll go to the home page. I'll select that I wanna sign up for the growth membership. I'll submit that order. And now when I go to the members only area and go to growth content, I can access it. And likewise, if I go back to the members only area and attempt to now view bundle content, Again, I'm sent to an error page. But if I go back to my sales page and I say I wanna purchase that bundle and click confirm, go back to the members only area, view bundle content, I can now view the sample bundle content. So at this point, I'm on the growth membership level and I have the sample bundle applied to my account. So I'll get access to all content that the growth membership gets access to in addition to all content that the sample bundle gets access to.
And of course, I can continue to purchase additional bundles to access more content. So hopefully that gives you a good place to start from in understanding how to create products in order to build your customers and then associate those products with access rights so that you can indicate what content your members will get access to when they purchase particular products. So what I suggest you do now is go ahead and create a product, create a membership level, create a bundle, and play around with those things so you get a good feel for how they work. And keep in mind that we have additional training videos in the support center on products, bundles, and membership levels. So if you get stuck and have questions, feel free to check out those training videos and the additional articles in there. And if you need to, email our customer success team with any questions you have. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.